fans, welcome to part two of SWW Wake of Carnage. Fans, this is Ray Little. I am here. I am feeling better. And I am going to bring you the best commentating that I can possibly give you. Oh, man, part one was amazing. I sat backstage and watched it, and I was just floored by all the things happening there. Oh, my goodness. We got the Death Dealer coming out. This is We're starting things out with the 20-man royal, or 20-man battle royal, I should say, for the money in the bank. And we've got Death Dealer coming out at number one starting things out today. Get things rolling here, fans. Oh my goodness, all the stuff going on about with the wedding. Oh, can you believe that? I was there. They invited me. And it was just, a, I, I, I tell you, fans, I cried at that wedding. It was just the most beautiful thing you could possibly uh, witness. And uh, we're going to get a chance to see the two, the married couple here this evening. Oh my goodness. Who in the world is this? Coming out in the limousine. Oh my gosh, it's Hanu Premji coming out in the limousine. What in the world? Oh my goodness, fans. This is unbelievable. Oh, money falling from the rafters. You have got to be kidding me. Unbelievable. Simply unbelievable fans. Looks like things are gonna looks like Death Dealer and Hanu Premji gonna start things out tonight. Oh my goodness, I was listening to Max Cruiser did a great job on part one of this fabulous evening. We had a lot of belts changing hands. Oh my goodness. And we have got matches. We have got we've got the men's and women's world title matches uh, tonight. Who's coming out here at number three? We've got Lorenzo coming out at number three, fans. Wow. There he is, fans. Oh man, he's going after Premji. Oh, there he goes. Of course, we saw his wife uh, wrestling the 20-woman uh, battle royal in part one of this uh, amazing event, SWW Wake of Carnage. Oh my gosh, we got number four already coming out. Who's it going to be? Oh, Christopher. Christopher coming out at number four. Fans, we have got that uh, detonator going up against the Viking Raiders for the titles. Oh my god, that's going to be incredible. We got Jay White going up against DDP for the world title in a steel cage match. Candy Vega going up against Yorichi for the world title. See, we saw Candy Vega a little earlier. Didn't do too well. Lost that match against Obsidian. We got Matt Bennett coming in at number five. Haven't seen him in a little bit. Oh, oh my God! I almost forgot. We've got Mr. Amazing with his special man, with his introducing his new manager, going up against Kenny Omega. Oh wow! We have got all kinds of things going on, fans. This was again. This is just too big of a night here in Portugal to to put all in one. Rage Tonic coming in at number six. Of course, we saw Rage Tonic tangling with Mr. Resistor in part one. That was one brutal. Go back and check that one about if you haven't watched part one yet. It looks like Rage Tonic's going to try to take out Hanu Premji. Lorenzo's trying to get rid of Christopher right now. 
Owens. We got number seven coming out to the ring. Who's that going to be? Oh, Corey Crichton of the winner's circle. Coming out number seven. I'm glad the winner's circle could make it to Portugal. I was a little bit worried. I know I think I, they heard that they weren't going to make it over in MSW, but I'm glad they made it here in SWW. We're glad to have them here. As much as we may dislike some of their tactics, we love seeing them wrestle, and I'm sure the fans do as well. Oh, age time, still working on Manny Frenji. Fans here in Portugal loving it. Leon B's coming in at number eight, fans. Beast. I mean, Beast, man, that guy loves Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, he's going on the attack with a suplex on Lorenzo. Oh, man. Hanu Premji taking out Corey Crichton. Corey Crichton didn't really have a chance, man, in this one. Oh, man. I'm sure Corey Crichton's going to want to get some payback on Hanu Premji later on. Oh, my gosh. Liam Beast takes out Lorenzo. Unbelievable. Now Rage Tonic beating the heck out of Matt Bennett while Death Dealer tries to take out Liam Beast. Oh, it looks like Rage is going to try to do it too. Oh my gosh, Liam Beast fighting back. A huge drop kick. Oh, I thought for certain Christopher took uh, Rage Tonic out, but he held his own. Matt Bennett now going after Handy Premji, trying to eliminate him. As we got number nine about to make number nine about to make their debut here. I shouldn't say debut, but appearance. Billy Paul, pretty much debut. Billy Paul's back to wrestling again, fans. He has come back to SWW. Oh my goodness, fans, there he is. Billy Paul. Of course you didn't hear, oh man. Death Dealer took out Lee and Beast. If you didn't hear, Billy Paul is now dating Sakura. At least as far as we know, correct us if we're wrong. Oh man, looks like Rage Tonic. Did he just take out Matt Bennett? And Terminus coming in at number 10. Oh, yeah. Rage Tonic took out Matt Bennett. Oh, and Bremji took out Christopher. Of course, you guys didn't see it. You got to see that confrontation between Terminus and Kyle Bennett. Very important promo. I'm not going to give any of that away right now. You have to go check that out. Oh, my goodness. I thought for certain Billy Paul got Terminus taken out of that one. Got some big guys in there with Terminus and even Billy. Billy Paul's a pretty big guy too. Maybe short in stature, but he's, a, he's pretty solid. Same with Death Dealer. Death Dealer and Rage Tonic going at it. Because we got number 11 about to jump into things here. Iron Taylor coming in at number 11. Taylor, I do believe Iron Taylor won the Universal title over the weekend, so I, I, I have to say, I'm pretty sure he's the Universal Champion right now. He's tangling with the Hanu Premji at the moment. Oh, Billy Paul just tossing out the Death Dealer like a bad habit. We got number 12. Coming in here, who's going to be number 12 here? Oh, Andrew Premji takes out Iron Taylor as the Fiend comes in. Number 12. Rage Tonic. Got Billy Paul. Got Terminus around. We got the Fiend. Oh, the Fiend taking out Andrew Premji. Unbelievable. 
I cannot believe he took out Amy Prenji. Oh, Rage Tonic taking out the feed. He didn't last long at all. So we got number 13 coming out. Brian Andrew coming in at number 13. Oh, Terminus trying to get rid of Rage Tonic. It looks like Brian Andrew is going to try to help him out. Oh, and the two get him over. Unbelievable. And Billy Paul still in this one, too. Terminus working on him. Who we got coming in at number 14? It's Terminus and Brian Andrew. Battle. Brimstone. Oh my gosh, another big man coming in. Oh, Brimstone coming out. Sporting his uh, new look with that afro. Oh, Brian Andrew eliminates Terminus. Unbelievable. We get number 15. Orion, oh, another big man coming in. Number 15. Of course, Orion's Cleveland Browns didn't do too well. Today is a loss to over the Steelers there. Oh, Billy Paul taking out Brimstone. Oh, my goodness. That Billy Paul, Brian Andrew, and Orion. And we got someone coming out at number 16. Who's this going to be right now? We got Adam Strange coming out at number 16. There he is, fans. Adam Strange, son of uh, Chaz Foreman. First Chaz Foreman won that hardcore title. In the, uh, earlier in the broadcast in part one of Wake of Carnage. He's coming out number 17. Ryan, oh, Ryan takes out Billy Paul as Wolfchild comes out. Oh, we got Wolfchild in this one. Oh, my goodness. Huge knee lift from Ryan Andrew on Wolfchild. Goodness. Oh my goodness. Orion takes out Adam Strange. Oh my goodness. Face drop from Orion. Oh, I missed it. We got Joe Kenny coming at number 18 here. Oh my goodness. Look at these guys right here. Uh, Brian Andrew, Wolfchild, Orion, Joe Kenny. What a line up here. It's awesome to see these individuals wrestling, especially over here in Portugal. Oh, Tony Cross coming in at number 19, fans. Oh, there he is, fans, Tony Cross. Oh, beating on uh, Orion here. As Brian Azriel tries to take out Joe Kenny. We only got one more person left to come into this one, fans. Who's it going to be? Who is it going to be? Oh, my goodness. Ryan Andrew, that guy is a beast. Oh, my gosh. We got the threat making his return to SWW, fans. The threat makes his return, fans. Coming in at number 20. My goodness, him and Orion, two big guys meeting up. Two giants. Orion looks like. Oh my gosh, Orion eliminates the threat. 
That is, that is terrible. Unbelievable. In and out. Oh, the threat is not happy. Not happy at all, fans. The Lion trying to take Joe Kenny out of this one. Having a hard time. Ryan Andrew beating the heck out of Tony Cross. Oh, ouch. Oh. Man, these guys are just... I tell you, man, these are the toughest wrestlers you'll ever find right here. These five men. Any one of these men could make it through, I'll tell you that right now. Oh, huge suplex on Joe Kenny from Orion. Oh my goodness. Orion again, but he cannot do it. He cannot get Joe Kenny out of there. He keeps trying. He keeps failing. Child trying to get rid of Ryan. Ryan fights his way back in. Oh man. A wolf child. Oh, nice slam. Slam Tony Cross on Orion. Looks like Orion and Wolftron trying to get rid of uh, Joe Kenny. Can they do it? And, oh my gosh, they do. Wolfchild and Orion team up and eliminate Joe Kenny. Oh my goodness, that's a that's a hefty loss for the for the uh, winner's circle there. Oh, Ryan just manhandling Wolfchild. Oh, Ryan Andrew. And the people of Portugal know. Oh man, oh, Ryan dropping. Andrew face first. Oh my gosh, Brian Andrew just eliminated Orion. Unbelievable. Oh, wolf child. And Tony Cross. Trying to eliminate Wolf Child fans. Oh my gosh, he does, fans. He certainly does. It comes down to Tony Cross and Brian Azrael in this one. Who's it gonna be, fans? Oh, big leg drop by Tony Cross. Who's gonna win that money in the bank? Briefcase. One of these two men are going to win that Money in the Bank briefcase. Big question is, who's it going to be? Oh my gosh, Tony Cross just eliminated him. Tony Cross just got the briefcase, fans. Tony Cross wins it. Unbelievable, fans. Unbelievable. Gotta give it up though for give it up for Orion and Wolfchild and certainly Brian Azrael. There he is, fans, Tony Cross. No, you're not going to WrestleMania getting the money in the bank briefcase.
What? Oh my goodness, who in the world is this? Anya! What in the world? I have it in my notes, this is Anya. What is this about, fans? Who is this, uh... Who is this character? Who is this person? What is she doing, doing a promo during Wake of Carnage? Fans, if you have any indication on who this person is, please let us know. I don't know who Anya is, but hopefully she's going to shed some light right now. Oh my goodness. Ah, Portugal. You may be wondering who my name, what my name is. I am Anya. I stand before you, fans. I stand before you. And I am not. I am not standing before you as a victim. But I stand before you as an avenger. No, not some comic book. No. Not some comic book, tight wear and buffoon. But someone who has... A true vendetta. I start with the sister. And I will slowly eradicate this family syndicate. Yes, the sister. Who, who is this person? I tell you who this person is. She is someone who has benefited, yes, benefited from the one man who I have dedicated my life to bringing down. Oh my goodness, fans, it's Anya. She sounds Russian. Uh, shadows coming out. Uh, what? The connection is Russian, we know this. So is she speaking of, uh, of, uh, Malachi Abramoff or Terminus, or what is she? I hope we can find out. Anya, Anya, I have no idea who you are. You come out here and you start saying, oh, all this and this and that, I'm gonna, I got a vendetta, I'm gonna start with a sister and slowly blah, blah, blah. Who are you? I am someone that you will, you may, you, you probably do know me. But you, maybe you don't know you know me. But I tell you something right now. No, honey. I'm going to tell you right now. First of all, I want to know who, who you truly have a vendetta against. And I can only guess it's Malachi Abramoff. Well, you're, first of all, you're going to target me in connection with Malachi? You are family, aren't you? You and your big brother Terminus. While Malachi sits in a hospital, broken. But he's not being, he's not done being punished. No, he's not. I will finish it. I will finish his punishment. What are you talking about? Did you have something to do with this? Are you connected? To Hanu Premji and Rockstar? This Hall of Chumps garbage? Who are you really, Anya? Because you look pretty familiar, if you ask me. I am a woman who has been broken by the likes of Abramov. And you 
must pay the penalty for your brother's sin. Terminus will pay the penalty for his brother's sin. Your whole family shall pay the penalty. You're going to judge us for something Malachi did to you? No, 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 honey. Uh-uh. I'm not I'm not taking on the sins of my brother. But if you want to if you want to take me on, I'll take you on any time any place. I never said I wanted to wrestle you. I said I want vengeance on you. I want to break you. I will crush your entire family. Do you understand that? It's not about this little wrestling. It's about destroying you and your brothers and the rest of your family. You know what, honey? You got a big problem on your hands then. Because you want to go messing with our family? You are barking up the wrong tree, honey, because I tell you what, I think you're biting off more than you can chew. Oh my goodness, fans, what in the world? I don't understand. Anya, this woman has something against Malachi Abramoff. What in the world is in she? And she looks like she's picking a fight with the entire family. Unbelievable, fans. Oh my goodness, I tell you. Something new's happening all the time around here. Sometimes I can't even, I feel like I can't even keep up with it half the time. Oh, here we go, fans. We've got Jay White going up against Diamond Dallas Page for the SWW Men's World Title. This one, fans, is this one's going to be done in a steel cage. And this is a steel cage match where you actually got to climb out of the steel cage. There's no pinfalls in this one, fans. You want to win, you got to escape it. You got to go over the top. Because that's the way the steel cage matches should be. Oh yeah, we get it. We get it. This is for the for the men's world title, honey. Oh my god, sound like shadow. They're taking their sweet old time getting out here, aren't they? There he is, fans. There's Jay White. I tell you, man, if one person is truly deserving of taking this title right there, it's a the man right there. You tell me I'm wrong. You tell me in the comments below that I'm wrong if you don't think Jay White has what it takes to beat Diamond Dallas Page. Because, fans, I truly believe he does. Man, we've got, we've got, later on, we've got Detonator taking on the Viking Raiders. We've got Mr. Amazing taking on Kenny Omega. we got Candy Vega taking on Yorichi. Stay tuned for all that action. This is one of our biggest cards. One of the biggest cards you'll ever see, I'll tell you that right now. One of the biggest cards in SWW for the year, I'll tell you. His fans, Jay White. Oh, here we go. We got DDP coming down to the ring. There he is. The SWW World Champion, Diamond Dallas Page. Fans in Portugal truly happy to see this man right here.
there it is, fans. This will be for the world championship. Portugal definitely behind. Let's see, are they behind Emma Dallas Pedro behind? Jay White. <clears throat> oh man, that's some serious contemplating there for the champion. Oh man, not getting. Not getting much of a pop from the fans here in Portugal. Diamond Dallas Page, wow. Jay White getting all the getting all the publicity from the fans here. There it is, that beautiful title. Feel the bang. As they lower that steel cage. This one's underway, fans. Oh man, it's chanting chant DDP. For fans that weren't cheering much for him, and they're giving him some pop now. Oh, Jay White flipping him over. Now working that arm, ouch. Oh man, Jay White already trying to get over that steel cage. It's pretty, pretty soon there. Pages up and work on getting Jay White out. Oh, there you go. White's down. Oh, Page just. Ouch. Oh. White. Oh, huge slam. White decimating DDP for the moment. Oh, DDP with a oh, huge knee lift there on Jay White. Page going for the climb here. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, went for a, looked like an elbow drop, missed. Oh, man, that's not good right there. Jay White's got him up. Oh, nice slam. Nice slam from Jay White. Jay White's going for the climb now. Can he get it? I don't know, man. Looks like DDP stern there a little bit. Oh, he's up. I ain't gonna get it. Oh, oh man. Page trying to get him. Oh man, this one's going to the top. Oh my goodness, this one. It's not gonna be good, fans. This is not gonna be good. I'll tell you that right now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Jay White just kicked DDP off the. Off the top of that gauge, can he get over? Can he get over for DDP climb back up there? Oh no! Oh my gosh! Oh, DDP's got hold of him. I thought for sure Jay White had this one, fans. Oh my goodness! Oh my God! He knocked DDP off there for the second time. Oh, does he do this? Can he get that leg over? What is he doing? He is stuck up there. He is stuck. Now DDP busting him up again. Oh my goodness, DDP's got hold of his leg. He's pulling him back down, fans. He's pulling him back down. He's got him. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is going on here? Oh. Oh, Jay White just slammed his head against that uh, steel cage. Oh my goodness. D Jay White Stern, can he get up there before DDP climbs over? He's going up, he's going up, fans. Jay White's going up. Oh, he's beating on DDP, he's beating on him. Oh, he's got a hold of his leg, he's pulling him back down, fans. He's pulling him back down. Oh, my goodness. Oh man, he's slamming his head. DDP falls backwards now. Jay White again trying to get up there. <clears throat> he can't get his foot in. You can't get your foot in when you go up on that steel cage. You're in trouble, I'll tell you that right now. DDP now going back up there. 
Trying to beat on Jay Watt. Oh man, he's beating. He's got a hold of his leg there. DDP's got a hold of his leg. He's pulling him down. As this one goes back and forth, back and forth. <clears throat> oh, Jay Watt falls to the mat. Ouch. That looked like a big hit, too. That looked like a hefty hit. But he's stirring. He's down, but he's not out. Oh, no. I don't know if he can get up fast enough. I don't know if he can do it. Yeah, he's up. He's up. I don't think Diamond Dallas is going to be able to pull this one off right at the moment. Jay White's right on top of him. Oh. Oh, DDP kicking him right down. Now if DDP could just get that leg over. But Jay White's right back up again, man. In two seconds, nothing stopping this guy. Oh. Oh, he can't do it. He can't do it. He can't do it. It looks like Diamond Dow's going to win this one. He retains the title. Diamond Dallas Page retains the world title. Oh my goodness, fans. Can anybody beat DDP? This guy's on fire. Oh my goodness gracious. I tell you what, it could be Tony Cross. He gets his shot at DDP at one some point in time here. There he is, fans. And still... World Champion, Diamond Dallas Page. Unbelievable fans. Simply unbelievable. Oh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got the Women's Championship here. And I do believe this one's a steel cage match as well. I believe both world titles. Max Cruiser set up for steel cage matches. We got Candy Vega going up against Yorichi. Of course, Yorichi being the current world champion. I tell you what, fans, I am truly tired. It was a late one here. By the time we got here over to... We, uh, flight came into Portugal here. I mean, it was early, early this morning. I mean, after, I know a lot of these guys had to jump on a plane right after their, their shows yesterday. And there is your challenger, unfortunately. Unfortunately, her and her daughter did not win that tag team uh, title match earlier in the show. That was very sad. And her uh, husband and sister didn't, uh, I mean, they did okay, but they certainly didn't win any, any matches this evening. Candy Vega hoping to bring her inmates a, a victory tonight over Yorichi. But I'll tell you what, Yorichi's been fire on fire as of late, so I'm gonna have to wait and see on this one. See who's having the better night, her or Yorichi. Yorichi. I'm probably saying her name wrong, it's probably Yorichi, but here we go out Yorichi. Yorichi's coming out right now, fans, there she is. Yorichi, the current women's champion right there. Hoping she can retain that title the same as DDP did on his end. Of course, Yorichi. Yor Yor Yorichi is one of the... I know I'm having a hard time saying that name. She is one of the... I'd say a super fan favorite here in SWW. Fans just, they love her. They absolutely adore her. I mean, if she's not the world champion, she will certainly remain the people's champion here in Shockwave Wrestling.
challenger Candy Vega. <coughs> and the defender Yorichi. Oh man, she's not looking too thrilled about this one. Maybe she's a little bit scared of Candy Vega. Maybe not. I don't know. She looks determined though. She looks naughty. Yeah, I'm just reading her shirt. Sorry, fans. I'm sure those shirts are selling like hotcakes backstage. With the vendors. There it is, the women's championship belt. It's a beautiful belt, actually. They're lowering that steel cage. This one's underway, fans. Oh my, oh, a couple of huge kicks. Oh my goodness, Yorichi. Yorichi is cleaning house. Of course, you know Candy Vega may not be at 100%, considering she gave near 100% in that matchup against the Obsidian earlier. Oh, nice drop kick from Candy Vega. Dragon Urichi against that. Oh, John, just whipping her up against that steel cage. Oh, my goodness. Urichi feeling the burn on that one. Ouch. Oh, and knee lift from Urichi. And Candy now slamming her head down. Oh, man, Urichi's going to go for the climb, fans. As Candy Vega tries to get back up. Yorichi not making it very far. As Candy Vega trying to drag her butt right off that thing. Oh, and she certainly does. And she's got Yorichi up. Oh, man, that did not work out. Reverse DDT. Oh, slamming her in that turnbuckle. Oh, but they getting an elbow in. Oh, now Yorichi with an elbow. Oh, nice block on that kick from Yorichi. Maybe Bay with a huge knee to the face. She whips her into the corner. Oh, another knee to Yorichi. Now oh, hitting her across the back of the head. Oh, uh oh. Oh my gosh, face plan there. Oh, she is in on fire. Candy Vega is on fire. Bam! Twist of fate there. Now going, she's going for the climb, fans. Candy Vega is going for the climb. But was that enough to, no, that was not enough to put Yorichi out. Yorichi is stirring. Candy Vega's on the top. Can Yorichi get it together? She's trying. The reach is going up. She's going up, fans. Oh, she's getting her. She's trying to get a hold of Candy. She's got a hold of that leg. She's pulling her back down, fans. She's pulling Candy Vega down. She misses. These two are battling a Ooh, ouch. Oh, Candy Vega took a the head slap of that steel cage now. Your reach is trying to get up there. She's not getting very far though. Candy Vega's already got her. He pulls her. Oh, pulls her down face first. Oh, Candy Vega's not giving up. She's already going to the top of that thing. She ain't waiting for your Richie. She could have put the nail in the coffin, but she's not waiting for it. She's up on the top. You're Richie trying to get back up. She doesn't know where she's at. Oh, you're Richie going back up. I don't think uh, Vega's going to do it. Oh, man. She... Oh, she's beating away. She's got a hold of her leg. Oh, she's pulling her back down. Yorichi's pulling Candy Vega back down off that steel cage. 
He's trying to get a hold of her. Oh, there it is. Oh, she falls straight down. Candy Vega is down while Yorichi's trying to climb it, fans. Oh, my goodness. Yorichi's getting up there. Oh, my goodness. She might retain the title. She's trying to get over. Candy Vega's getting up there. Can she get over there in time? Can she get her? Can she get her? She does. Oh, my goodness. She gets there just in time. Yorichi is just about to climb over. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness, fans. It's over. There ain't no way. There ain't no way, Candy, unless she can climb up there like the Flash. Oh, my gosh. She's trying. She's trying. Can she get a hold of her? She certainly does. She grabs a hold of her. She's beating on her. She's got a hold of that leg. She's pulling your reach back down. She's pulling her back down. My goodness, your reach was so close to retaining that title. Oh, punch to the head. Oh, she's a, oh man, slamming head. Your reach is down. Candy Vega trying to get her foot in. Better get her footing a little bit quicker if she wants to get over that steel cage before your reach climbs back up, gets back up. Oh, your reach is not stirring right now. Oh, she's slowly getting up. Candy Vega. Oh my goodness, fans, you have got to be kidding me. Candy Vega has won the women's world title. We have a new world women's world champion, fans. Oh my goodness, she has just beat Yorichi for the Shockwave Wrestling World Championship. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable, fans. The inmates have done it. They struggled this evening, but they finally get a victory. They finally get a victory, fans. We've had a lot of title change hands this evening. Oh my goodness. Simply incredible. Congratulations to Candy Vega for that victory because your Ricci is not an easy one to... Oh my goodness, what in the world is going on here? Mr. Amazing sporting his Death Trooper mask. Of course he's a big Star Wars fan and wait a minute Ted DiBiase's in his corner what in the world is that about right there why in the world is Ted DiBiase in the corner of Mr. Amazing as the as Mr. Amazing challenges Kenny Omega for the all-media men's title there oh my goodness Let's get out to the ring, fans. Find out what this one's all about. Oh my goodness, there he is, fans. This is amazing. Ted DiBiase in his corner. Oh wait man, what's that Ted DiBiase saying there? Ted DiBiase. Chris Bat. Oh Chris, something about Chris Bat. They gotta get rid of. Looks like uh, looks like he says he's gotta get rid of Chris Bat over in MSW. He's a worthless pile of uh of uh, cow dung, I guess he's saying. I guess he's saying that. Chris Bad is in Joe Kenny's back pocket and he doesn't like it anymore. He doesn't like it. But he says he can't be all. He says he looks just like Branton All Bomber. What are you talking about looking like Branton All Bomber? I have no idea what he's trying to say. He looks like him physically, like his face. I don't know what Ted DiBiase is saying. Ted DiBiase in the corner of Mr. Amazing, bad mouthing Chris Bat. Seeing that it's Chris Bats in Joe Kenny's pocket. Unbelievable. Ted DiBiase fans, he's the owner of MSW. Oh man, did I hear him shouting out something about. I heard him shouting out something about uh, Ric Flair. Ric Flair being a total sellout or something, I don't know. 
I don't know what he's talking about, but I can't believe Ted DiBiase's in the corner. Mr. Amazing. I guess he's managing him now over here in Shockwave Wrestling. Seen some pretty bad things about Chris Bat being in Joe Kenny's back pocket. I guess Tibiasi not a Ted Tibiasi not a big fan of the winner's circle. At least he's not a big fan of the winner's circle, as he says here in Shockwave Wrestling. I'm sure Joe Kenny and the Winter Circle will try to twist things and throw SWW under the bus as usual, but we'll find out. I'll tell DiBiase, man, I can't believe he's in the corner of Mr. Amazing. That's actually pretty awesome. There he is, fans, the challenger. Mr. Amazing Jared Bennett right there. First we saw his brother, his brother actually in a backstage brawl earlier in the show and then wanting Terminus to, to join him to fight uh, the Hall of Champions, Andrew Premji and Rockstar. And we got this uh, new girl, Anya, making her debut. So she's got a lot of, she's got a vendetta against the... Uh, Oh, Abramov family. Oh man, it's craziness. There it is, fans. The world all media title there. And this one gets underway. Oh man, huge clothesline from Mr. Amazing. Ted DiBiase already liking what he's seeing. Oh, huge uppercut from Omega. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Fans, stay tuned for our next matchup, the main event. We have Detonator challenging the Viking Raiders for the world tag team men's world tag team titles. Oh, look at that shirt. Jedi Fallen Order video game image on the back of his shirt. That's pretty cool. We all know Mr. Amazing's a huge Star Wars fan, as is Lorenzo. Oh, ouch. Fans did not like that. Oh, man. Ref just got hit. I'll tell you what. We've got a mixed reaction from for Kenny Omega and Mr. Amazing here in Portugal. Omega's got him up. Oh, huge bomb. I mean, huge uh, power bomb there. Ow, that looked like it hurt. My ah, goodness gracious. Oh, now a, now a knee lift there. Going for the pin on Amazing. Doesn't get it. Mr. Amazing gets that shoulder up. Now takes a knee to the stomach and now a kick to the face. Omega unleashing fury on this uh, on Mr. Bennett here. Oh, man. Omega has him up. He has him up. Oh, man. Roll over there. Ted DiBiase is shaking his head there. Not happy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Don't tell me we got a pile driver here. No. Oh, Mr. Amazing turned it around. Now get a clothesline on Omega. Kick to the back there. Oh, stomp. Oh, man, got some booze going on there. <laughs> oh, Mika going for the pin. One, two. Did not get it. It does get a two count before Omega got his shoulder up, though. Of course, fans, we saw the... Kajetsu lose to Hot Stuff Hobson. Kajet or Hot Stuff Hobson, our new women's all media champion. Can Mr. Amazing do the same thing here? And beat Omega. 
and become the new all-media champion. We're going to find out. Mega's going for the pin. I'd say this is a premature pin. Oh, that was right. Mega gets his shoulder up. Amazing, you're gonna have to do a little bit more damage there on Omega if you're gonna want to. If you're gonna win this one, that's all I gotta say. Oh man, Omega whipping him against the rope there. <clears throat> oh my! Oh, now throwing him over the top rope or second rope. I couldn't. I don't remember if it was the top rope. Uh, the count begins. The count begins here. Ooh. Oh my goodness, Omega, just bombarding Mr. Amazing here, oh my gosh, huge kick to the side of the head, oh now punching him, oh just beating away on Mr. Amazing, Omega, not leaving any stone unturned, just trying to just basically beat him, beat him to death, oh my gosh, now Pushing him against that barricade. Oh my gosh, now a suplex. This could be it, fans. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't think Mr. Amazing is going to get in. I think. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, Mr. Amazing was counted out. You've got to be kidding me. Unbelievable, fans. Oh man, what an upset right there. It's Kenny Omega wins it via count out. Unbelievable. I think if we were MSW, we'd probably end up doing a rematch on that one. They don't like count outs over there. They don't like, uh, oh my god, oh look at what we got here, fans. Oh, there she is, Faith Blackthorn with her man. John Monaco and their partner Brat and All Bomber going up against uh, we got Rowan Hansen the Viking Raiders oh my goodness we got Kevin Sullivan in their corner you've got to be kidding me unbelievable oh my goodness oh, I hope Kevin Sullivan doesn't try to react or do anything towards uh, the lovely Faith Blackthorn or I should say Faith Monaco now, what am I saying? They're married. They got married this morning. Faith Monaco. Get down to the ring for this one, fans. Our main event. Oh my goodness, there they are, fans. John Monaco and his new lovely wife, Faith Monaco or Faith Blackthorn, however you want. And there, uh, there's their partner, Brat, the Brat and All Bomber. Oh my goodness, a beautiful thing, fans. It's a beautiful thing. Simply incredible. <clears throat> Unbelievable fans. Simply awesome. It is great to see these two here. I hear these two are going straight off to their I don't know if they're going on their honeymoon right away. I don't know. I mean, maybe they're. This is their honeymoon right now. They took a break for this match. Oh my goodness, and here we go. Oh my goodness, we got the champions coming out. There they are, fans. Rowan Anson. And leading from behind, I could see them right there. I see him 
Kevin Sullivan bringing up the rear. Oh my goodness. The Viking Raiders, man, part of the cult of darkness. That's what that's what uh, Kevin Sullivan calls his uh, group here, the Cult of Darkness. I think they call it something different over in some of the other federations. But um, he definitely uh, prefers Cult of Darkness here in Shockwave Wrestling. Oh my goodness, these guys are monsters. Championship. I don't know why it says United Kingdom on that belt. Those belts are wrong. I don't know what is going on there, but we're going to have to fix that because those are not the proper titles that Shockwave normally has. Maybe they put United. I don't know. I definitely got to fix that though. These two are huge. Looks like Rue is going to start things out against uh, the bomber here. Oh. Oh, man. Punch straight to the face. Oh, nice slam from the Bratnall bomber. What's Kevin Sullivan doing? Get off the rope, Sullivan. Oh my gosh, distractions. Of course, rope capitalizes off of it. It's a back suplex down, but Bratton Obama. Oh, huge clothesline line on Rowe. All stomping away on him. Oh my goodness, Bratton Obama, the strength there. Oh, huge slam. Devastating fans. Right now, Bomber just beating on him, just punching Roe over and over again in the face. Oh, another slam. Tagging in his partner, Hanson. Hanson's a big guy. Bretton on Bomber's got it. Oh, suplex on Hansen. Oh, ouch. Whips him into the corner. Oh, huge knee. Oh, wow, my goodness gracious. Tags in his uh, partner, Monaco. Oh, punch to the head. Hanson's got, oh my gosh, He's throwing his body right at him. Oh, whipping Monaco against the corner there. Tags in his partner, Roe. As these two double team Monaco, oh my goodness gracious. Oh, Roe with a huge suplex. Monaco now. Monaco decides he's going to go on the attack finally. Oh, maybe not. Roe whips him in the corner. Oh my goodness, this is ugly. Hansen's tagged in now. Oh, come on. Oh my goodness gracious. This is just, this is terrible, fans. This is simply terrible. It's hard to watch. Oh, my goodness. Oh, please. 
Johnson trying to do some acrobatics there. The cartwheel. I guess a man of his size doing a cartwheel. And Monaco going to tag in his partner, Bomber. <coughs> oh, he's got him. Oh, now beating away on Hansen. Oh man, Hansen punching him right in the face. Oh man, nice suplex there. Oh, Bomber. Oh my, go! Oh my gosh. Nice suplex. I'm working the right arm. Bomber's got him up. Got him up again. Oh, nice, another suplex. Now goes for the pin. Oh, but easily kicks out. Monaco was in the ring for a minute there. His bro. Oh, Suplex City, man. Suplex City. Unbelievable. Now he's got Hanson up. Punch to the face. Hanson. Reversing. Oh, man. Hansen just unleashing. I mean, basically wins a fire. Oh my goodness. Bomber going for the pin. Does not get it. Rope breaks it up. Ref is knocked out. Now the bomber working the arm of Hansen. Oh my goodness. Hansen taps out and Detonator wins the tag team titles. Oh my goodness fans. I am floored by that one. I did not see that one coming. I did not see that one coming. I'm sure we'll hear something from some of the competitors saying that this was all paid off and everything but I can pretty much guarantee you by everything I know that this was not paid off they'll probably say something like oh Michael can't count to three blah blah well, my, well the guys don't count it's it's freaking uh, the ref who counts so I don't know what the heck they're talking about it's the ref who needs to know how to count There's your new tag team champions. Not only does he have a beautiful new wife, Faith Blackthorn, but they got the titles as well. Fans, I just want to thank you for joining us for Wake of Carnage here in Portugal. It's been a wonderful time, but what's most important are you guys. And I ask that you please hit that thumbs up button below, subscribe to the channel, and share it with all your friends. Alright, this is Ray Little signing off. Have a great one, guys.